Good day, friends. Maloa here, and today's adventure starts with Kalathan and Gondaman, and we're doing Prologue Reluctant Allies. Let's go. Thanks for watching today's episode, and if you like this content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's start the adventure. Mati looked me in the eye this very morning and swore that the dwarves were proud to have the elves of Duland as neighbors. Such dishonesty, and right to my face! I thought he was truer than that, but I should have known better. No dwarf can be trusted when you have works of art or history that he desires to possess. Go to Mati Stout Hand and demand that he order his dwarves to release Averthal. If he wants war, <clears throat> he shall have it. You must tell him this. I do not trust myself to speak to one so dishonest without striking him. Wow, strong words. <clears throat> you will find Mati up on the upper levels of Gondaman. Make haste. We may have need to return at once to Duland to prepare for war. Dang, she's kind of like really upset. <clears throat> Let's see what Mati has to say. What do you want? <clears throat> Hold your accusations, High Elf. My people are not responsible for your missing prince. I am offended both by the accusation and by your tone. Your elf prince is being held in the encampment to the north. Ah, yes. That explains a great deal. You see, my people are Longbeards, an honorable family descendant from Durin, first father of the dwarves. The dwarf camp to the north has been a constant annoyance to me and my folk. It was established by Darahant, a thoroughly unwholesome family of dwarves who traced their ancestry to the evil Skorgrim Darahant. Dwarves may have taken Averthal, true, but not my dwarves. The Dara Hands are to blame, and they are as much a thorn in my side as they are in yours. Come and stay that away. concludes today's adventure. Please hit the like and subscribe button to not miss an episode. Thanks for watching.